And today we have a nice box from Hungary, from Grozsa. And it happened that uh, one of my Facebook friends, Dirk from Germany, wanted to have this bow. And the patrons didn't vote for it, so he said, I order it for me. Let it ship to you. And you please test it and then send it to me. I agree very much with the first bot that he ships it to me and I test it. I don't agree that much that I have to send it then to him, but you know. What we get is a short Hungarian bow, biocomposite. Oh. So, packed well. So, what do we have? So, let's see that we don't damage it too much. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, what do we get? Uses instructions. It's a biocomposite Hungarian short, Maxtro 30 inches, 40 pound at 28. I like that. Shows how to use a thumb draw method. Shows how to use three fingers. Shows how to string. Very nice. You get an invoice. And you get another invoice, so that's nice. Good. Then we get a string, most obviously. This we put away in the meantime, and then we get what it's all about. So, you get a nice documentation with it, I like it. Gives it one more point, as we know it by now with my rating. And yes, we know biocomposite doesn't mean it's a true composite bow. But I tell you in a, in a second. You pretty. Oh, oh. Look at this pretty bow, the short Hungarian bow. So what does biocomposite mean? Uh, Chaba Grosje uses pressed uh, sinew here, so he prepares it, then it's like a layer of fiberglass or wood. For this, the core is wood and the back is horn. This is even slightly rounded and it's pressed horn. Don't know how it is processed exactly, but it's pressed sinew, wood, pressed horn. And it's glued together with a modern glue with fiber strengthening reinforcement. So we use old and modern materials and I have nothing against that. 41. Oh, oof. 41 pounds at 28 and a max draw is 30. Pretty. Nice long sears like the Han style has. Reinforced. Pretty. Then we have here senior wrapped or something, you know, some, some wrapping here. Nice. So, but, you know, while we are on it from knock to knock, it's 53 and a half inches. So what we get, it's from Grosje, it's a Hungarian bow, the short version, biocomposite laminated, strung has a length of 53 inches, unstrung 58 inches. The brace height is 6 and 5 eighths of an inch. Draw weight 41. It, this bow is available from 35 to 75 pounds, which is quite something. Max draw is 30. There's a longer version of the Hungarian bow, which is 60 something inches and it would do 32 inches. Recommended arrow weight, there's nothing mentioned. What biocomposite laminates mean, I told you. And the price is $395, uh, I think, or euro. I will write it, plus shipping, obviously. We saw the bow unstrung. We should string it. What did I always say? The shorter one is the bottom one. And here, you really don't know which one is the top and the bottom. So I would go with the description on this limb, on this ear. Nice. So there's not a lot written on the bow. Only Grosje, 40 pounds. Okay, at least you know the poundage. So the string loops are quite thick. Pretty bow. Stringing is easy. You simply make sure that the loops line up on the sear. Oh, yeah. A nice bow. And it's not so heavy, so that looks very good. But I guess this bow, like all horn, like the real composite bows, needs a little warm up. So let's check if the brace side is there where it should be. Six and five eighths, seven inches. 
can live with it. Might stretch a little and then we are there. Look at this bow. Handle is a little squarish, but we know that from Griffith, but it feels, yeah, it really comes here nice in. You have your three fingers around, so whatever type you shoot, you're good with it. So now let's warm it up a bit. Huh? <laughs> I would have taken the 32 inch one, but a 30 inch draw is enough. Oh, look at this. Nice, really nice. So the handle is bending and flexing a little, which is, you know, me. But overall, so this arrow is 30 and a half inches. Let's see. Akroja, <laughs> come on, Shaba. This bow does more than 30 inches. Look, this is 30 and a half inches. There's no stacking, nothing. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. 395, get one. I stopped my review now. Okay, we do more. <laughs> this draw experience, even here, 39.38.8 at 28. And at 30 inches we have 43.3.28. So, now I can tell you. 28, we are already beyond 60 degree. So let's see. 26. 26 is just fine. So at 26 we have a string angle of 60 degree. But we check the bow at 28. Pretty, look at these curves. Nice. Mm -hmm. And 30. Oh, yeah. So I would always warm up the bow a bit, Dirk. But it's a beautiful bow. Look at this. And the curves don't seem that they cause a lot of stress here. It's really flexible here and springy. I like that. Stiff, so extremely stiff, and overall you feel a little the oscillation of the string, but yeah, you hear it as almost nothing. You feel a little going on, but it's so minor that you really need to be sensitive, like me. <laughs> As it's a Hungarian bow, and many like to shoot the bow like this, you know, this very historical style of works. You can shoot, three fingers, arrows there. You could have the arrows easily like this, and shoot like so. So every style works with this bow. The handle is quite, it's almost flat here, so you can do almost everything but it still feels good in the hand. You have a nice control of the bow, like that. So these arrows are not 32 inches, but they are my most lightweight arrows. They are 320 grain. The bow has 43 in full draw. Uh, there is no recommendation of, uh, at least I didn't find a recommendation of grain per pound. So we shoot now these arrows and see what the bow will do. The draw is here. Ooh. Almost kishik sound, you heard that? <laughs> Stems the arrows in the target. And the group. <laughs> it's a bit loud, but it's to be expected because the loop ends here, so it has a little an impact. The C is quite long. <laughs> Only what we see, what it will do with 500 grain, which are then way too heavy, sound-wise. Yeah, it gets a little less noisy. <laughs> nice. But you see it slows down a little. Oh. 
Oh wow. And we have 320. Feel almost a little too light, right? So you feel it a little in the hand. 500 grain is nice, but most probably a little on the heavy side. So I would go with 10 grain per pound, plus minus. Then you're on a nice side and not too loud, not too much shaky. But my Songurs group. Whee. Getting there. And 30. Phew. Nice. I shoot the 500 grain. Yeah, fly a bit more stable. So something in between. Yep. Ooh. Missed. <laughs> the bow's weight. 505 grams. And the arrow pass is 22 millimeters, which is fine. It's quite narrow. And I got a few scratches here. And you know me, I have no idea of one bows. So 500 grain. Hundred sixty-four, three hundred twenty grain. Nope, oh, hundred sixty. Seriously, hundred seventy-three, hundred seventy-eight. We give it one more try. Thing is, these bows need a little shooting. The heavy ones again, of course. 164. 165. Oh, that's nice. And the more lightweight ones, 320 grain. So getting there, getting up a little, needs a few shots, so most probably 185, I guess you will get with these lightweight arrows, maybe even 190, but not yet, still a little stiff. A joy to shoot, draw experience is really nice. Handshake is said with the 500 grain arrows, nothing. Look at the curve, this is 30 inches. Does a chop has a little hand shock. But the arrows go exactly where you want them to. Let's see Katra. Works nice. Cut the string twist, works even nicer. Sounds good, feels good, shoots good, has a little, you feel it a little in hand, it's because the handle is quite raw, no leather wrap around, so you feel a little in the hand. Feels good. String twist feels even better. This bow doesn't mind string twist. And now you feel the bow getting more and more flexible. So it's like with every horn sinew needs a bit, but then you get there. Feels really nice. And I have to say with the 500 grain arrows, I'm a bit more accurate. <sighs> Monday morning and I am capable of shooting a bow like this 
life does not get much better. So we still have no wiggle, no wiggle. Draw experience now is still, there's nothing all over. The draw curve is like, it doesn't exist. Nothing, 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 nothing. This is already beyond 30. No stacking at all whatsoever. I think 30 inches is a very safe draw. Bow would be easy. Capable of doing more. Pretty bow. Look at this. The sea is nice with a horn reinforcement. Very small knocks. Then you have the wrapping here around. There you have your logo and the writing. The string is very well made, so the string looks really good. Looks very robust. I think it doesn't get untied for a while. Here you have your pressed plate of sinew. So it's not that he takes these single sinew strands and puts them on it and glues them on it. He prepares it before and it's like a stripe of fiberglass it put on and you have the core of wood and in the back the same with your pressed horn and as you see it has a slightly curve to it so it really looks very good it's not very thick so i guess it's two three millimeters so it's not like you know a real horn there you have your handle looks very nice i scratched it now a bit you see that the senior plate runs all along and the horn too the wrapping, very nice. It's a pretty bow. And the brace head is still there, yes. Draw experience is really nice. For me, the handle is a little edgy, but it gives you a nice control over this bow overall. It's not bad, it's not bad. It's a little loud, but hey. And it draws nice, so it gives you the safe feeling when you draw. And you do hear something, this bow doesn't mind. So this bow is a really sturdy piece of weapon and workhorse. Pretty good. Time for the rating, I guess. Hmm? Or shall we shoot one more? Yeah, we shoot some more arrows. So until now I only shot wood arrows, uh, carbon arrows. Let's see how it works with the wood. The nice ones from Harris Spider Vista's tennis cabin. Look good on this bow. Ooh. Slowing down a little, they're quite heavy, but nice. So whatever arrows you want to shoot. Hmm, so, okay, I shoot three fingers. Three fingers Mediterranean now, just because. Breeze. You get there, takes a few shots overall until you warm the bow up. So especially in cold temperatures, make sure that you leave the bow outside, that it gets used to the temperature, not out of the warm car into the cold. And then stretch it first before you string it, you know, bend the limbs a little over your knees, warm it up. It's not like a real horn bow, but it needs a little warm up. And it's a beauty. A rating of this bow, first of all, the speed we had with 320 grain arrows. 183. I guess it will be a little more later down the road once you shoot a few times. So rating. What is my cheat sheet? There's my cheat sheet. Rating packaging. We have if the bow and the string and the sleeve and a documentation, extra string and whatever. So we have a bow, string, a sleeve and a documentation, which gives it three stars. 
everybody fails here a little, they could easily make five stars here, won't they? So handling is hard to string, medium to string, okay to string, straight. This bow is straight and easy to string, really. So five points, easy, almost six. Build, quality, optics, finish, handle, string, rough, decent, okay, good looking, perfect. For what it is, made with natural materials, it's simply outstanding craftsmanship. Can't say anything, I don't see any flaws, nothing. String looks good. This five. So then we have the feel, basic feel. It's very wiggly, uh, handle is too small, unbalanced. This thing is not wiggly at all. And the handle feels great. So even my big hands, as you can see, fits nice. You have control. I personally don't like this edgy design, but others might like it. It's nice deep, but it's nice and narrow. So for this one, basic feel five. Shooting experience, the draw experience, smoothness, stacking, wants to bend. This bow wants to bend. There is no stacking and it's smooth. It's not a draw curve, it's a flat line. It's, you don't feel it from the beginning to the end. You don't feel the poundage, nothing. Incredible. So that's why we give this one a five. And shooting experience, the only thing when you have lightweight arrows like I had with the 320 grain, which would be then, I will write it here, grain per pound. The bow is a little loud and you feel it a bit in your hand. This is the only thing with 500 grain, it's better. And I guess over time, this bow gets a bit more comfortable. It's still a little stiff out of the box, uh, even if it's not the real composite bow. This bow needs several shots so that it gets warmed up and that everything works together. Now this bow will grow with you, will get better and maybe even gets a little more poundage over time when the molecules the enzymes in the horn start reacting and it gets a little stiffer, can be. I don't know how it is with this pressed horn, if it works like real horn. But so it need to give it a five points too. So we have a total again of 28 out of 30. Price value, it's 395 for a bow made out of natural materials. So no fiberglass and no whatever carbon. You have sinew, you have wood, you have horn. Okay, it's not like a real composite bow made. It's pressed sinew, pressed horn and the wood and the wrapping around, but I think $400 and you get this with this shooting experience. I think it's worth it. So I would give it, what did I write there? Ripple rating, perfect price for the well, it's, it's good priced. Why is it perfect priced? For this price, you get a very good laminated bow, and then you have fiberglass in it and all the stuff. And here you have not natural materials. I think it's, it's a very good price. So I give it five stars. Four and a half. Four and a half, five stars. So this is my conclusion with this bow. It's amazing to shoot. It draws, the draw experience is out of this world. It's snappy. You feel it a little in the handle, but you get used to it. So it's not overly annoying. Simply don't hold the bow too tight. You can maybe do even your, your high eagle, high wrist grip, eagle, talon, fallon, whatever the name is, or you hold it like this. So you can shoot this bow in different ways. This bow doesn't mind, the handle doesn't mind. It's a pretty bow. I wish I would have one because I always wanted to have one of these bows. I, if I would take the Hungarian one, I would take the longer one and 32 inch draw because it fits my shooting style more. But when 30 inches is enough without any kind of stacking, this bow is incredible. So there you have it, pretty. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much, dear Gwenzel from Germany. He bought this bow and said, please, Chaba Grosje, send it first to Armin that he can test it. And now I will send it, not now, I shoot a few more arrows. 
Uh, I will send it to you, Dirk. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Chaba, for building this really interesting bows for a good price. I mean, natural materials for under 400 euros. See? Agree. Thank you very much for watching. In the kitchen.